Hi, this is Deborah from Online Learning. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a PlayPosit interactive video in Canvas. OK, let's get started. As you can see on my screen, I have a module that I called the PlayPosit Workshop. And under that module, I've created an assignment page called First Interactive Video. And it's worth 20 points. I'm going to click into that assignment. And you can see uh, in the directions here, I've typed something that you might use just as a suggestion you know, for your students. Watch the video below all the way to its end. Each time the video pauses to ask you a question, answer it. This assignment is worth 20 points. OK, let's edit. So what we need to do is place a video down here that we want our students to watch. And we want it to have interactive activities or uh, questions throughout the video. All right, well, after you set up the points, you know, however many points you want, your assignment group, and how you want your grade to display, then we come to the submission type, which is the key to this whole thing. You need to hook this up with PlayPosit, which is an outside tool. So we click No Submission, and then we click External Tool. Now remember, do not type anything in this box. Don't think that you can type PlayPosit and it would just call it up instantly. It doesn't really work well that way. So instead, leave this box blank and just click Find. Then on the internal scroll bar, Go ahead and scroll down until you get to PlayPosit. Then select it. Just click on it. OK, this is the next thing you should see, a gray box like this with these links in it. And it would say Set Link, and no content has been attached. When you see this gray box, you're going to click Set Link. What that does is it brings you right into the PlayPosit tool itself. PlayPosit calls its interactive videos bulbs. And so what you might see here are uh, a list of possible bulbs that were created by other people. And they decided to share them with other faculty in um, at Foothill College. Now what you really want to do is make sure that you see this red circle with LMS in the center, which of course means learning, mod uh, learning management system. That indicates that the link happened correctly. And you will probably see the same icon here next to each individual bulb. And what that icon is for is if you see a bulb that you like and you want to use it, all you have to do is to put it into your assignment is click on the little icon to set the bulb link. But in this example, we're going to add a new bulb. So we're going to click Add New Bulb. And you see this is the beginning of finding a video that you want to use. Now you have several different options. You can click My Videos, in which case uh, you can start searching for your own videos in different locations. Or you can input a URL. For example, if you have a particular video you found on YouTube and you want to use that video, you can uh, copy the URL for that YouTube video and use this button to plug it in. This button doesn't work. It's uh, not something that we purchased. You can also upload an MP3, which is just an audio file. Or you can start recording a video right now. In our example, uh, we're going to go into Canvas Studio and use a video that exists there. So we're going to click Canvas Studio. You want to try uh, choosing one video and preferably something that's fairly short, you know, not more than five minutes. Once you select the video, uh, the way, a quick way to find out how long it is, is to place your mouse, hover your mouse on this bar. Uh, this is the playing bar and you can just hover your mouse and go all the way to the end to see uh, roughly how long it is. In this case, this video is about three minutes long, and that's fine. Uh, this is the title. If you want to give it a different title, you can 
uh, click here. I'll just call it my video. Once you've done that, uh, you scroll down here and click done. At this point, I'm going to stop and the rest of the steps will be demonstrated in the live workshop.